news, but the one that's foremost in the news and for uh, all positive reasons is Goldrich Properties. Pull up that stock for you. It was up 5%. In fact, it shot up even more uh, when uh, the initial announcements came in about uh, the BKC plant, BKC land being used for a commercial project. Pirocha Goodrich, Managing Director and CEO of Goodrich Properties is with us. Pirocha, thanks much. Uh, <clears throat> can you take us through some of the details that we did not get? Uh, what is the total amount of money you are expecting to make by when and what will be the margins on this project? Sure, great to be with you, Lata. Very excited to uh, be launching our project, Godridge VKC, as you said. This is a project, as you know, that we're doing in partnership uh, with Jet Airways. This is a piece of land that they had originally uh, bought, and we are no now doing this in joint venture with Jet Airways. Mm. Uh, the project in total is about 1.3 million uh, square feet of saleable area in terms of the size of the project. About 250,000 square feet of that will be used by Jet Airways for their own corporate headquarters, mm. and the remainder of which will be sold and leased um, externally. <laughs> we expect uh, revenues from this project to be about 3,500 to 4,000 crore over the life of the project. We expect to complete construction by the end of 2015 and hopefully complete sales on the project uh, soon thereafter. I don't think at this time, frankly, that I can really comment on the margins of the project because it will depend uh, on a large factor of things that will really be uh, really play out over the next three or four years. But we're quite optimistic that we are launching this project at a very attractive time. The Indian economy, we think, has now troughed out. We think the reform measures the government is taking, combined with the interest rate reductions that have started and will continue to unfold, we believe will lead to a very buoyant uh, demand for real estate, both on the residential <coughs> and the commercial side. And I think from a supply perspective, we also think the timing is very good. Because of the slight weakness the commercial market has seen over the last uh, couple of years, there isn't much by way of new supply that developers have committed. So with that, once demand picks up, we think this project can do very well and that there will be substantial uh, room for price improvement over the course of the project. Okay. If you could give us a picture of where uh, the balance sheet stands after the launch of the project, uh, if you could give us the net debt levels and how this um, project will uh, make a change. Sure, the net debt uh, of the company at the end of last quarter, which is our last published number that I can talk about, was about 1,500 crore, which we think is a very manageable number. From a debt equity perspective, from the end of calendar year 2011 to the end of calendar year 2012, our gearing ratio reduced from 2 is to 1 to 1 is to 1. Our net debt has also reduced by 500 crores. In the last two quarters, uh, we've had 200 crore plus of operating cash flow surplus. So we think our balance sheet is in very strong shape. We don't anticipate any major impact uh, in either direction in the short term from the launch of this project. Um, certainly it will allow us to uh, create funding through, uh, through sales which will be used to invest in the construction and development uh, of the project. Uh, but, uh, you know, there, there will be investments required for the development as well. So I would say from a balance sheet perspective, in the very short term, it, it is probably neutral. Oh, what about what the will, cash no, flows? What will it cost you, uh, Pirocha, uh, to uh, develop this property? How much of it will be your problem? How much of it will be uh, uh, jets? And therefore, if we can have an idea whether, uh, you know, it won't make any difference to the amount of loans that you may have to raise. Sure, we already have a substantial amount of loans on it. So out of the 1,500 crore of debt, we, have, we actually have about 750 crore of debt on the project already. So we don't anticipate any incremental debt requirement for the project because we think the cash flows from the sales we generate will be uh, more than sufficient uh, to cover in, uh, additional investment. In terms of the project structure with uh, JET, it is a 50-50 profit sharing mm. um, arrangement. Their profit uh, and any funds to them will be received at the end of the project um, and will be based on, at that time, the surplus in the project after taking out all costs of debt. In the near term, Pirosha, do you think cash flows may be a bit subdued because of the investment you've made in the project uh, and only once the project is launched, um, could you see uh, cash flows uh, coming in? So in that, the near term outlook may be a bit challenged. 
No, Gautam, I think what we're, we're actually announcing today that we are launching the project. So the project now is open for sales. Okay. Uh, we're quite excited to be at this uh, stage. We anticipate that we will uh, see a high amount of interest in the project and will be able to uh, generate cash flows. There could be opportunities to generate cash flows far in excess um, of the, the funding requirements of the project in the oh. short term. But I think it's a little premature to comment on that at this stage. For now, I think we expect that we will be able to meet the funding requirements requirements of the project in the short term entirely through the cash flows it generates. Why you have done some pre-sales, you sound confident that uh, the money you will make will be more than the money you will spend in the first year itself? No, we've no, Lata, we haven't done uh, any pre-sales on the, on the project. We're launching it uh, today, but we are confident that there will be demand for, for this kind of project. In any case, the incremental uh, investment in the project is due over a large period of time. So the payments for uh, the FSI that we've purchased are due on an annual basis once a year or over five years. The, the repayment of the debt we have on the project doesn't start until four years from now. Okay. So there is ample time and the project has been structured in a manner that it will not, we feel, uh, require uh, any further capital outflows from us at this stage. At the moment, what's the per square foot realization? Um, again, we, you know, just about launching the project. We expect to launch the project in the range of uh, 27,000 uh, rupees a square foot, but we think that could uh, see sub substantial appreciation mm. as the project unfolds, as the project gets nearer completion. And what we think will be, uh, you know, general appreciation in the commercial market, but also, uh, particularly for commercial real estate, prices do tend to move up quite substantially by the time a project is complete. Okay, finally, uh, before I let you go, there's some concern with analysts, you know, that over and above what Jet takes, uh, you will be going for uh, external leasing. Uh, and in that, there are other properties uh, available at a slightly cheaper price. Uh, do you think you will find adequate demand for uh, people external leasing uh, for the project? Yes, certainly we do think we'll have more than adequate demand. I think we feel we're offering a quality of product here that really hasn't been seen in BKC yet. Uh, we're using SOM uh, as our architectural partner for the project. They've designed buildings like the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which is the tallest building in the world. Um, we have an outstanding corner plot in BKC, which will afford um, you know, our clients better views and things than, than most other uh, projects there. We have, uh, from a sustainability perspective, delivering a project that is, is very high. So we anticipate uh, that this will be a preferred choice for high-end corporate clients interested in a world-class development in um, what is now, we think, India's most prestigious uh, commercial office address. We actually think that now is, uh, you know, that the, 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 the rental values that are currently available and the sale values that are currently available offer a very attractive of opportunity for corporate clients because rates have been quite subdued. I mean, if you look at it, even compared to peak rates in, say, 2007, 2008, BKC values are today about uh, at a 25 to 30% discount to those values, whereas the residential market is at a huge premium. Mm. And, uh, you know, of course, there's been quite a lot of inflation since then. So we do think that once the short-term oversupply situation, which is large, largely corrected itself, mm. fully correct itself, which we certainly anticipate will happen over the course of this project. Because of the uh, short supply of new uh, projects being launched, um, that there will be quite substantial price appreciation in a location like okay. BKC over the next year. Just one years. last question. How many floors is it since you refer to the Braj Khalifa? Is it just one building and how many floors? <laughs> It's not quite as tall as the Burj Khalifa, nowhere close. It's just a, a ground plus 19 floor okay. uh, structure with a couple right. of basements. Okay. Uh, but it is, I, I think my reference to that was more uh, a reference to what we hope will be an outstanding mm -hmm. building from a, uh, from a perspective of design, sustainability and other things that we think uh, our, our corporate clients will care about. Fair enough, Pirusha. <coughs> All the very best. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Great to be with you. Thank you. All right, so that's the word coming in from Godrej Properties, a 20-story uh, commercial complex coming up at Pandrakurla Complex, and they expect to make between 3,500 and 4,000 crores on selling it. Take a break. We'll come back and look at the technicals of the market because uh, it's now, uh, well, uh, if it's a loud shout, it is within shouting distance of 5,800. We're back with the technical expert.